Model 1886 Winchester, caliber 5110, bullet weight 450 grains, powder charge 100 grains of black powder. Capability, magazine 9 rounds, one in the chamber equals 10 rounds. Eighteen eighty six Winchester cartridge fifty one hundred and ten bullet weight four hundred and fifty grains one gallon jugs of water. Okay, what we're going to do today, we're going to shoot two cartridges both of them 450 grains one of them is going to be black powder a little bit slower and the other one is going to be smokeless you shoot them into these jugs and see how far they go which one penetrates the most okay let's do it going with smoke uh, black powder first All right, let's see how many is your penetrating. All of them. <laughs> wow. Okay, we had 10 of them set up because, uh, you know, a 50 BMG only goes through like six of them. And it went through all 10 of them. Actually, 11. No, 10 of them. And continue down here. We're going to pull it out of there and see what it looks like. All right. Right there where it, where it went into the sheet rock. You see it right there? I'm getting my own light. Here it is. went about five or six in five inches through that sheet rock once it penetrated ten jugs of water we're going to reset up and see what a smokeless charge will go through with 82 grains of smokeless powder i think i misstated a while ago it actually went through 11 milk jugs i guess alabama mouth it's not that good all right all right, 450 grain bullet, Barnes bullet over smokeless powder, about 82 grains. I think you'll be able to see it. Check it out, see what it did. Throw the bullet. Let's see how many jugs it went through. There's two of them blowed up over here. So there's two. Three. Got three of them right there. It stopped in the fourth one. Look at that. Look at the size of that bullet. Right there is smokeless powder. Going 2,400 feet a second. And that one right there is black powder. Going 1,300 uh, feet a second. 
There's a difference. Try it. Damage that jar. But it did not penetrate this one. You see that stick right, right there. It was up against there. But that's it, man. So right powder went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus about that much of that. That's kind of interesting. High speed versus slow speed. Penetration versus expansion. That water obviously is pretty hard when you hit it like that. Those are the exact same bullets. Both of those are 450 grain Barnes bullets. And they did completely opposite. some comparison that is a 45 ACP laying right there in between those two bullets that kind of gives you an idea about how big that bullet is all right since we have more milk jugs left I have a 300 grain bullet uh, Barnes bullet over black powder we're gonna see how well that penetrates 300 grain bullet against these one gallon jugs of water Powder. Let's see what she did. Okay, there's that one. That one. That one. Uh oh. I'll drag off to the side a little bit. Went through that one. Missed that one, went into there. So let's see how many that is. So we got three right there. Four, five, six, seven. Went through the side of that one. That's eight. And then into here. Let's, uh, let's take it out of there and see what it looks like. Okay, it went through eight jugs. Might have nicked that one or something. And then right into this one. There's, can you see the bullet? Not much damage to it at all. That should have been going about 14, uh, I guess uh, that should have been going about 1600 feet a second. Black powder. Let's compare it with the other two. Okay, there we got that one. 45 ACP just for comparison. Okay, you can see on the right the two black powder loads, almost no damage to the bullet. 
The one on the left was a smokeless powder, boot scooting and bugging. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share this if you think it's interesting.